would be preferable to have a nice peaceful ride over there. We will make our way up to uh, Lansdowne and Davenport and uh, where we will put the ghost bike down, um, light some candles, we'll have a minute of silence and uh, put down some flowers and stuff. Right now I'd like to introduce David who is um, Tom Sampson's cousin and uh, he would just like to say a few words to y'all. Thank you. Good evening. First of all, uh, this is an incredibly emotional moment. Uh, thank you all for coming out. I'll make this very brief as it's cold and I'm sure you guys want to get on to the ride. Uh, at 6.45 a.m. last Friday, Tom was struck by a hit and run driver at the corner of Lansdowne and uh, Davenport. And the loss is enormous, both to our family but also to the community. He's a wonderful man, but specifically a very avid cyclist. Uh, he would actually cycle to the point where it wasn't safe, it was snowing out because he thought about his kids first. Uh, and I think that what you guys are doing tonight is absolutely wonderful to honor his memory and I know that were he here he would appreciate it. Uh, as a further gesture, I think if you guys put some pressure, if you can show sure you already have, I mean municipal politicians and provincial politicians to get more awareness for bike safety in Toronto, to get more money for infrastructure, to get those two levels of government a little bit involved in making uh, this pursuit a little safer for Torontonians. Uh, we are, on behalf of my entire family, incredibly appreciative of this. Thank you very much. Ride safe and be well. Thanks. So, um, we're going to wait a couple more minutes, just, uh, and then we'll try and go as 6 30 as soon as possible because uh, it's kind of cold up. All right. Sorry, Al, if you can actually try to move yourself over in this area, it's actually really easier to get into the park if you don't clog that area. So, and we get out of here too. Okay. Thank you.